you are be able to attend your uh, imagination and try to imagine how I could look like when I was 15 years younger, you'll probably see uh, Professor Artur Bartkowiak, who is the coordinator of that project which uh, I am uh, going to present now. And uh, he's one of the youngest Polish professors uh, with the title given by the President of Poland. Uh, and uh, he's responsible for the implementation for the project, which is not like the previous mentioned structural project uh, focused directly to research and development. However, it is focused to the infrastructure. So uh, uh, he received funds uh, to create uh, the so-called Center of Bio-Immobilization um, and Innovative Packing Materials, which is located in the northwest part of Poland, in the city of Szczecin. Uh, Szczecin uh, is the city where uh, uh, academic institutions like uh, university, technical university, <laughs> and agricultural academies grows quite fast during the last decades. However, due to the reasons of some concentration of the research, it was happened that uh, two of them uh, combined together and uh, formed uh, the so-called uh, the uh, University of Technology in Szczecin, which started to operate at the January 1st, 2009. Uh, so uh, that uh, university is contained now with the uh, several faculties and three of them, and uh, namely the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Mechatronics, the Faculty of Food Science and Fisheries, as well as the Faculty of Chemical Engineering, created together the Center of Bioimmobilization and Innovative packaging, uh, packaging Materials. So this is the name of the institution they create. They used to have uh, the beginning of quite nice cooperation inside in the country and outside of Poland. Uh, this is uh, how the structure function. And let me focus uh, on the proposed research areas uh, in which this, uh, uh, let's say, center would like uh, to be uh, just uh, to be involved. Uh, one of the activity concerns innovative packages of the all size. It means starting from so-called nano packages, micro packages, and macro packages. Uh, the macro packages uh, of uh, fishes is uh, a little bit interesting speciality of the coast of Baltic Sea in Poland because this is the area where you can, uh, for example, uh, both in various places just very close to the harbors, the smoked fish, fresh fishes. Uh, that fishes uh, then are uh, packed for some time <coughs> and for that specific packages uh, they try to develop a special uh, materials. So this is the example of one of that fish uh, which you can buy there. Uh, however, <coughs> of course, there are um, much broader areas of uh, activities. Here, uh, Arthur listed the main research areas and uh, some examples of their expertise. Uh, all the information uh, are also given in the, uh, our conference materials. Uh, the another uh, example of their activities concerns participation in the European uh, Union projects. They have some achievements in this area. Here is the example concerning the 6 and 7 framework program. And uh, uh, this is uh, the example of the specific uh, activities concern uh, the uh, materials of the improved uh, uh, properties, especially the, the so-called foam materials. This is one of the examples. This is the setter, uh, second example of that kind of the activities. Uh, here you have uh, the uh, uh, example of their collaboration with the so-called domestic converters. Poland is a specific country in that sense that uh, during, let's say, 
former period, there are two uh, areas in Poland which were uh, still in the private hands. The first one was agricultural uh, land, which was in the hands of the, of the farmers, uh, and the second was quite strong converting sector. And there are several of small and medium-sized enterprises in Poland just focus on the conversion, on uh, just producing, uh, usually from the, let's say, recycled materials, several goods from plastics. And this still exists, and those people are in connection with various centers, also uh, with the center in Szczecin. Uh, these are the uh, application of their research concerning the improvement of polylactide uh, gas properties. Uh, uh, here are some photographs <coughs> concerning the implementation of the project. It means the uh, new equipment they uh, just <coughs> purchased for that uh, center, which was uh, just uh, uh, re-established in that sense that the new building has been uh, created for uh, for that uh, activity and in this building there are also the space areas which they offer to the uh, some companies for renting for some temporary research uh, which can be performed together with the uh, permanent staff uh, of that center. This is another uh, example of their thermomechanical uh, equipment which they have there are also some uh, information regarding the equipment used for evaluation of uh, gas barrier uh, properties. Uh, so my, uh, at the end, my uh, message to uh, Natalie is that you have uh, 10 minutes more because I'm going to finish <laughs> earlier, <coughs> if you would like to use that. Uh, and let me summarize with the information that if you will have any questions, uh, please address them di <coughs> directly to Professor uh, Adam Bartkowiak. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.